All right. Good morning, one and all. Um, so this is a advanced Python programming uh, tutorial series. Uh, in my introduction video of descriptors, I told you about what descriptor is basically all about. How can you use descriptors in our day to day life and how powerful descriptors are when used with meta class and design patterns. So let's not um, jump into that and let's grab a gradual pace. Like let's go from the basic, understand what descriptors are right from scratch. I hope I, I, I assume you do not know anything about descriptors. I'm going to start from right from scratch. So this tutorial series would be right from basics to the advanced that is meta class design patterns, the descriptors. Let's get started with right from the basics. So first of all, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to define a class known as foo or whatever the class name is, because I need to under I, I want to make you understand some of the basic concepts of descriptors. Um, the very first thing is I'm going to do is I'm going to have a dis uh, I'm going to have a constructor. And this constructor, let's say takes an argument known as name. Uh, should be name, right? Uh, let's define that name equals to name. All right, that's defined. Now, let, let's say I want to get the value of name, uh, but I want to do use. I want to use the dot operator. I just want to say something dot. Uh, you know, so, so, so something like that. So in order to do that, um, uh, there is a way in Python. Uh, you can say at property. Um, so this is a very basic and we'll be, uh, you know, modifying this using descriptors. So I can say something as property. I can say name. I can define my own descriptors. I mean the dot operator. I can say simply just return the self dot name. Assuming this variable is private uh, right now, it's public, but uh, all right. So let's say you want to set the attribute. So what you can you, you can do is basically you can say, I can say name. Now this is um, I can say your name dot setter. All right. Now. I will show you why this is not a good method, um, but for basics, for uh, people who do not know about descriptor, this is fine. So uh, what this has to do is basically self, I'm going to say, say name equals to value, right? Uh, that's it for the basics. Uh, let's uh, run this code. Uh, I'm going to say main. And, uh, all right, so I'm going to make an object known as, what is this, foo? Ah, my bad. Foo. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically uh, it has to take a name, right? So make sure the, the spacing is correct. Name equals to sawmill. All right. So now if I want to change the name, uh, if I want to get the name, first of all, uh, let me just print the object so we can see that the memory was located and the object was created on the heap. So let me just run this. Oh, whoops. We have an issue. All right. Um, I just forgot one small, uh, small thing. Um, uh, when uh, this variable should be private because when you're using descriptors, because that's why you're using the dot operator to get inside, right? So I forgot to do that, and let's try to run it. And um, so, uh, let me just try to print it. All right, so when I printed the object is created and the memory was allocated, here you can see the object was created. Now, uh, one important. Uh, Thing to take away from this video would be uh, when you use the descriptors or property decorators, it should be a private variable or a predicted. Um, that's fine. This is okay. Um, now I wanna show you a couple of uh, more stuff. Um, now, uh, guys, if you have like four or five of these, um, like um, attributes, are you gonna create like five or six of these? Like, if you have four of uh, four attributes, it'll be four into two, eight descriptors. I mean, property decorators. That's too tedious and, and your code does not look good. I mean, we want to do something like we want to we want to prevent uh, like uh, uh, rewriting the code again and again. So I want to show you some of the uh, some, one more technique, um, a little bit advanced, a little better version of this that is using the uh, the descriptors. So um, let, let me just remove all of these and show you the descriptor version now. All right. Uh, let's try the descriptor. So I'm going to write a class. I'm going to say descriptor. This will inherit from object right now. Um, right. And what I will do here is basically, uh, so what I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to write my constructor right here. Uh, sorry for the spelling mistake. Let me try to correct that quickly. All right. Uh, so let's write our constructor in itself, right? Uh, and remember, this will take a name by default. Let's set it to none. All right. Uh, I'm going to say self dot name is equal to name. All right. Uh, now let us write our own getter functions and setter functions. So basically whatever you did with the dot operator. Now we own the dot operator by using the dunder methods. So I can say dunder get 
instance. I can return the instance whenever a dot operator is called. I can say dunder set or uh, yeah, dunder set. And what this dunder has to do is basically I'm going to say instance. So let me just print a message so it's visible that like what methods are being called. Since for beginner, this is very important. I mean, to understand the basics. All right, that's, the, my, that's my dunder set, right? And remember, we are going to go much ahead from this. We are going to use meta classes also. This is just uh, like a beginning, right? So we have a dunder get dunder set, right? Uh, let me remove that. Uh, need to set it, of course. So I'm going to say instance dot underscore. I'm going to use the deck method because I, uh, because that's where the, uh, the attributes are stored. Let's call self dot name and um, let me give the value attribute to it. So that's my set method and uh, let's define my delete uh, def let me just make sure the spacing is correct oops i have a white space so dunder del right so all the oh it should be dunder d e l e t e um uh, yep that's correct now what we want to do is oh let me remove this so we want to remove the instance right so i'm gonna print a message again whenever this is called all right uh what i want to do is basically i want to delete the instance i'm gonna use the dictionary self uh, self dot name uh, um, yep, so basically this will uh, remove it from the dictionary right now. That's our uh, descriptors now We can define our same foo class This only thing would be this should be inheriting from the, the descriptors now, right? This is cool beautiful nice um, Let's define our name and now let's say this will be a type of descriptor uh, I can actually remove that in fact uh after every class there should be two two spaces uh, so let's do that all right that's done i mean that's pretty much it now let's just define our own class all right let's make the spacing perfect all right so let me define um just the name name attribute here right and uh, what i'm gonna do is basically right now i forgot the bracket i suppose uh yep i think i think so it should be fine uh let me just all right let me create an object again that foo stuff foo mm -hmm. and um, 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 um i need to supply uh, that arguments of course um all right and uh, um name is equal to i'm gonna say all right beautiful lovely now uh let me just print the object so this should basically print the memory address of that object guys look at this right dunder set was called because we are setting the name right now let's see this so if i say obj dot if i just call the name now the dunder get method is solved right beautiful we are understanding something that means now, if I want to change the name, I can say dot name. All right, so let's do this way. All right, so just change the name to hacked. All right, let's run this. Sure enough, the name is changed to hacked. <laughs> So um, this is a very good example, which shows a, a very uh, basic of descriptors, right? Uh, let me paste this version now. So I, I, I can also call the descriptor from the method, right? So if you want to access this, you can use a self uh, keyword. Let's try to run this. Sure enough, you get it, right? So here you can see dunder, uh, dunder get, dunder set, dunder delete. Now, if you want to make an object a read only, what I mean by that 
if you want something to uh, make read only or write only uh, let's say read only that means you only have a get method you do not have set so remove the set your method would be um uh, what i'm trying to say is basically you won't be able to change it or you won't be able to set it it'll be only like a get method only read only something like that you know you can use you can play with this dunder methods well this is just a beginning and next video we will be introducing meta classes to this so stay connected and hope you will enjoy this tutorials and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial